Hey there, and welcome to my channel. I'm Alex, and I love creating content that'll help you love life, perfect life, and beautify all things in your life. So today I'm back with another installment of Decades Makeup, and we are going back to the 1930s. A lot of this is similar to the 1920s, especially in the very thin eyebrows. So last week, you may have seen me, it was kind of a struggle to get it, but I'm gonna try it again today and try to make it look better than it did. Um, obviously, I have very bushy and dark eyebrows, so just bear with me. You'll get the idea. Um, but thanks again for joining me, and I'm glad you're here. Can't wait to jump into it, but before we do, if you like this content and want to see more like it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below, and also you can find me on Instagram at alex.marie. All right, let's get to it. All right, so first I am going to start off by covering up my eyebrows so that I can draw them on in a nice thin line like they did in the 1930s. And I don't really feel like plucking them to that extent. I have done that in the past and it was not a good look. Anybody in the early 2000s knows this and knows that it was a huge mistake. So hopefully we never go back to that, but for now, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a bar of soap and some water with my eyeshadow brush or any sort of small brush and I'm just going to paint on the soap and let it dry. I've seen other people use glue sticks and I'm just really not about that life. So this is the route I'm choosing. I did last week. Um, I hope that I can kind of perfect what I'm doing in my technique and we'll see where we go. I have heard that you can use any kind of bar soap as long as it's sudsy. The important part that I didn't do last time is to wipe off the excess above and below your eyebrow. Otherwise, it will lead to more cracking. Another issue that I had last time was that I didn't really let it dry. You can use a blow dryer or something else that's a little bit more professional, I guess, or I don't know. <laughs> but this is all I had around me, so. We're going to take our beauty blender and some powder foundation or translucent powder and just dab it onto where we put our soap. And we just do that a couple more times until we are pleased with the amount of coverage and the texture that we leave behind. Um, it took me probably six or seven last time, so we'll see. Okay, so I went in and it really only took me three times to get my eyebrows to this level, which is an improvement from last time. Um, I just added my base coverage on my face. And obviously my eyebrows are still a little bit able to be seen on the sides, but for right now that's good enough. In the 1930s they used really soft eyeshadows, some muted browns mostly. Um, so I'm just going to use a shimmery brown from Root. It's called Stella. It's a pressed eyeshadow. I'm just going to sweep that all over my lid. And I'm going to use the Snow Peach over it just to lighten it up. Then they use darker browns in the crease just a little bit. So I'm using cocoa from Root. And I'm taking Root's white gold illuminator and I'm going to brush that up on the brow bone just to add a little bit of shimmer. And so I just used the Root Black Beauty Eyeshadow and Eyeliner to line the top lid of my eye and also the bottom and smudge it out a little bit. Um, they did not have super dark eye makeup in the 30s. And 
and then now I'm going to attempt to draw my eyebrows. In the 20s they were thin, but in the 30s they were even thinner. It was almost just like one straight line. So let's try it. All right, so now that I have my eyebrows drawn on, I'm going to add blush, and they used pretty bright pink blush for their cheeks. I mixed the Sam blush from Root with Sierra. And now for the lipstick, they used really bright, like cherry red. So I'm going to be using the Root Pretty Lip Balm and some poppy um, it is an eyeshadow from prisma palette but i'm using that as my custom lipstick so i'm just going to dab some onto my lips i had really thin lips back then i'm just coming in with some concealer to kind of outline the lip All right, so that is it for the 1930s. I like the lips. The lips are always good as far as the decades have gone so far, but these eyebrows, like I don't know what they were thinking in the 1930s to even go from like the 1920s where they were thin to this thin. I just, I, I'm not getting behind this. Like I, I seriously, I kind of look like a clown, like, and that's totally fine if you think that as well, because I think that. And I would say there's not a lot that I would bring back from the 1930s. Um, but you let me know what you think in the comments below. Just remember to be kind and be sure to catch the next installment of Decades Makeup next week when we go back to the 1940s. Thanks again for joining me and I'll see you next time. Thank you.